Yo, what is going on, gamers? It is your boy Chris here, aka Chris the Gamer. Today, guys, I'm bringing you another episode of Black Ops 3 1v1s here today. We saw our guy middle. Dude, he's challenging me like this. No, he just gunned me off the head glitch. He look, he got some nasty shots into me when he jumped up. That was pretty weird. I couldn't even see him right there because he was crazy. Yeah, right there when he shot me in the head, he won that because of that. Oh, dude, we would have we would have gunned him off the head glitch. So we're gonna push up middle here. Do I'm, I don't think I'm using what's it called. Budget. I didn't see him jump to the side. I saw him. I just tried to get in cover. Budge. It's probably going to push through our spawn. All we gotta do is just chill real quick. I doubt he tried to get this down. And if he does plant it, he plants is it. It's all good. The only issue right here is we can't see our right side. Uh, let's go check a bomb. See if he goes A. You gotta be joking me. You gotta be joking me, dude. You gotta be joking me, man. Oh, he saw me. No. He should have low-key just died when I started shooting at him. Let's go, boys. That's what we needed right there, dude. I can hardly slide today. It's like a huge issue, but we needed that right there. I was just going to continue challenging middle just because I'm trying to cut off the map. If he's not mid, then I know he either hit A or he hit B. So it gives us a little bit of intel. And then I can also see top barn to see if he did like the top barn strat where you jump from top barn to B bomb. And we didn't see him do that, obviously. And then we see him there. I'm challenging you, buddy. I'm straight up challenging you. And we're able to win that gunfight. All right, so this round right here is pretty huge. It's pretty huge to say the least. Let's see if we can get these slides down. Hashtag the new slide. All right, let's go. Is he seriously going to continue challenging me? Seriously. Like I said before, guys, just challenging middle, and I'm spotting my opponent, he's spotting me, and then it's all just coming down to gunfights and being able to just outgun your opponent right there. He has a head glitch. I don't really know if this is a head glitch. He could kind of see, like, my upper body, and I can only see his head. But at the end of the day, I was, like, strafing a lot, so it was able to, like, help me out. So I doubt he's going to go, like... Like mid again, like that's gonna be extremely weird if he goes mid. So I'm trying to see if we can do something different here. Go top grams. Yeah, I didn't see a thing. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Right there, when I saw him, dude, I just thought in my head, I was like, bro, he's going to try to push out of my spawn, like, from 10. And as soon as I go to check it, I probably should have pre-aimed it. I tried to hurry up and push it to see if I could, like, cut him off, like, literally get in the corner and cut him off before um 
he got there, but for some weird reason, he was already there, and luckily, we didn't lose that gunfight. Luckily, we put some shots into him. He runs away, calls in AC. That was a pretty stupid choice by our opponent to just call in HCXD like that, to be completely honest. He's going to go 10, I think. He's either going to go 10 or trains. Some bad spots we're in now. Because he could spot us and we don't know that. Yep, he probably saw us. He had to have. Probably saw us when we were like running somewhere. Or he just got like literally the best timing. You got to be joking me. Oh my God. Yeah, he definitely got the best timing. But jeez. Dan was literally camping in a corner. He must have, like, literally must have just hit trains. Just hit trains and got inside our barn and just camped in there. Because we checked middle and we didn't see much. So, yep, he basically just hit that. So, he's probably going to go trains here again. Because last 10 is, the 10's just not working for the fam. So, let's just spot mid here. He's going to go trains. He flanked our spawn that fast. Dude, oh, no, he's just camping in a corner, dude. Oh, no, my timing. You got to be joking me. All we got to do is just start winning these rounds. He's going to have his, like, heat wave or something, so we got to be extremely careful from that. Yo, I'm not afraid to just camp here. The only issue is he can spot us from, like, the right side, but I'm just going to 50-50 it. Because if he hasn't come here yet, then he's probably going to try to plant it and just heat wave me. So we're going to have to try to get, like, some really good timing, basically. The more time we wait, the more time goes on. We get closer to our cloak here. I just 50 50 that right side. Forget about it. If he comes in through that door and he sways me, dude, like, I'm fudging this guy up. Oh, he just went top barn. Oh, God. Yo, if he gets like. Yo, <laughs> we're playing against a weirdo, dude. He's not even going to drop the bomb. Like, why is he top bar with 20 seconds left? That's just really, really interesting. I'm glad he didn't spot me, though. Okay, we got to be extremely careful here. We just need to hit something, dude. We literally just need to go ahead and hit something. I'm afraid to do this because last time, like, it just really didn't work out. But I'm about it here. Dude. Hopefully he doesn't try to ninja. Let's go, boys. Let's go. I thought I planted the bomb in the spot where I could see it from fences. And then when I couldn't see the bomb, I was like, oh, no. I have to check the bomb. 5-5. Five, five. Oh, man, he's going to have heat wave, and we have cloak, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, dude. Let's go, bro. He sees us. He's going to he's gonna straight up just heat wave us.
Let's go, boys. Let's get it. Yo, right there, I saw him. I'm just trying to really stay away from him. Now, honestly, if he would have challenged out of Cloaked, and I hopefully would have tried to win that gunfight, because we know he has Heat Wave. We know he has Heat Wave. He's probably had Heat Wave for like two to three rounds right now. He was going off in the beginning of the game, and it was just, it was, it was interesting. I dropped the bomb because he just ran away. He saw us. He bucked. I guarantee he was playing off of that Heat Wave, so he just really just bucked. So I was like, yo, I'm playing this bomb. And afterwards, we know exactly exactly where he went he went somewhere in his spawn so i'm just gonna go ahead and challenge him and that's what i did because if he's not there then i know somehow he got by me or he went trains and look at that we see him and we're able to get the the kill and we don't even have to use our cloak he doesn't even get a chance to use heat wave because we're able to kill him in the back he was trying to check middle to see if we were mid and boom it's a wrap. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. It was pretty uh it was pretty funny. I'm definitely going to say this was an entertaining episode. But hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys next time. Uh peace out.